Good morning and welcome to my backyard. Today we are going to make a globe that can lie flat but while also can spin and so that we can better understand our earth. So to get started we're going to need a northern hemisphere, a southern hemisphere, a pencil, some scissors, something to poke a hole with, maybe a nail or a paper clip, some string, which dental floss works perfect, some glue, and finally, some colored pencils or markers or anything that you can use to just make it a little bit more exciting. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I would suggest first making sure that your name is on it. So I always write my name on Antarctica just to make sure I know where to look. And then I'm going to start labeling the degrees of longitude and the degrees of latitude. So here we have our equator in the prime meridian. So this is gonna be our point zero zero. And I'm just going to work my way around. So for our degrees longitude, we're going to go every 30. So 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180 degrees. And then we start working backwards. So one. 50 degrees west because these are all east 120 degrees west 90 degrees west 60 degrees west 30 degrees west and we end up at zero again now because the equator is going to be the same all the way around. We don't need to label it on the southern hemisphere, but we do need to label our degrees of latitude. So for our degrees of latitude, we're gonna go every 15 degrees starting again at the equator. So we have 15 degrees north, 30 degrees north, 45 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north, and then the North Pole is our 90 degrees north. So same thing on the Southern Hemisphere. Oops, this is why we use an eraser. 15 degrees south, 30 degrees south, 45 degrees south, 50 degrees south, 60. 75 is this line right here and then 90 degrees south so now we have our degrees longitude and our degrees latitude are not right on top of each other because we're going to thread a piece of string through. But poke. Poke. And poke. Poke. We're all set. 
So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use some string, some dental floss. If you have thread, um, that would work. Anything that is just thin, it can get through those holes. So we don't need a very long piece, maybe six inches is plenty. And now just thread that string through the hole. Now, if you're using a needle, you can literally just thread it right through. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie off the ends. I just make a little knot. You can double it just to make sure. And the same thing on the other one. So now that we have our two loops on both of our hemispheres, we're going to put them together. So you're going to need some glue, and we're only going to put glue on the southern hemisphere, on those little tabs that we left. So let's go.